there's a lot of people that are working on Huntington's disease right now, and there's a lot of different approaches. Um, we have uh, uh, a number of avenues for research and treatment. One avenue is to reduce the mutant Huntington that causes the disease, but there may be several ways to do that. My name is Anuradha Bhattacharya. I'm from PTC Therapeutics. So our goal is to develop a small molecule for hunting the norine that um, when you can deliver the molecule orally. So that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to provide a pill that will you know, be taken it's not going to be an invasive intrathecal or other type of procedure to get the drug in. And um, when you take the pill, it should be able to uh, circulate throughout the, the body. And because it has the ability to uh, cross the blood-brain barrier, it can cross the blood-brain barrier and lower Huntington in the brain. So I'm the Vice President of Clinical Development at Unicure. The, the drug is called AMT-130. And what that is, is adeno-associated virus type 5. So the virus is kind of like a Trojan horse that's been um, genetically modified so that it's not infectious. So we specifically are targeting uh, the deep gray matter. So the deep gray matter, there's several what they call nuclei, and there's a caudate, nucleus and there's the putamen. Those areas are the primary site for the pathology of uh, Huntington's disease. Sort of like um, if you uh, if you have a say you have cancer and you have a tumor well you would want to inject into the tumor to destroy the tumor right so this is where Huntington's disease starts is the deep gray matter so it makes sense to inject directly if you're injecting around or below or so you never get to the primary target so we think it's a one-time injection and you're done. I think we will probably end up with invasive treatments that make a big difference. And then there'll be easier to take treatments, a pill that you take every day that reduces things somewhat. And, you know, we may always still also need treat symptoms, uh, treatments for symptoms. But I think that, right, it's when you, when you uh, join forces with several drugs that work a bit, and if you're lucky, you'll end up with one package that works a lot. I've learned that the Critical Path Institute last year put together a consortium of different partners in collaboration working with HD. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and who are you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So my name is Ariana Mullen and I'm the Executive Director of the Huntington's Disease Regulatory Science Consortium. It's a very long title. Yes. <laughs> at the Critical Path Institute. Mm -hmm. So at Critical Path what we try to do is um, really gather all the data from natural history studies and observational studies as well as interventional clinical trials. So we really do act as a neutral third party um, that can really bring everyone together in a safe environment where everyone's protected by confidentiality and everyone and it encourages data sharing and the sharing of information that um, really can't occur without this kind of structure. Um, and companies really do come together and share information and it's this rising tide lifts all ships mentality where by working together we can all succeed.